Hey, how's it going, Roberto? It's Buddy from Capistrano Volkswagen that sells an internet manager. Just responding to your request for the 2018 Atlas. I have one right behind me. I'll do a quick walk around of the vehicle so you can kind of get a better look at the car um, and also leave you my contact information. So if you have any other questions, you can give me a call. All right, man, let's do a walk around and see what you think. 2017 Atlas, big family car. It's about time Volkswagen brought something besides the Rutan. Um, very nice car. It comes in a V6 and the 2.0 turbo. Uh, the big thing about this car um, is the third row and how easy it is to get in the back of that vehicle. Let me kind of do an outside walk around first so you can kind of check out the lines on the car and see what you think. Um, we do have a couple different models. Uh, it's going to be the launch edition, which I'm showing you right now, the S. Um, we also have an SE, an SE with technology, and also an SEL premium. Um, they all do come with four-wheel drive as an option. You also have the big panoramic roof on top just the whole car on the inside um, and they're all also equipped with the Apple CarPlay radio which is very nice uh, you plug in your phone it pulls up your navigation from your phone also if your wife or husband sending you a text um, it will voice it to you and allow you to voice it back um, I have this in a bunch of different colors I think the yellow is one of the best ones uh, silver, gray, black, blue, um, and also I do believe a nice uh, burgundy. Let's take a look on the inside of the vehicle. All right, stepping in, this is my launch edition. So this one has the cloth interior on the inside. I'm guessing so with the S model. Um, you have your big touchscreen radio, which is a part of the Apple uh, CarPlay, like I said, AM, FM, satellite radio, um, but all touchscreen, even the big backup camera along with this car. You have an eight-speed transmission, electronic parking brake. Um, it does have Tiptronic and Sport mode, just like the cars. Uh, big MFI, which is a multi-function indicator. Kind of gives you uh, miles per gallon, distance from point A to point B. Who's calling, uh, who's texting, a little bit of everything is right here. Um, and then your multi-function um, steering wheel with all voice commands set up for the whole vehicle. Got a wallet holder lights all right you got a small little shade that goes on this to cover uh, your kids heads a little bit better I guess you could say let me open this up goes all the way back and I'm gonna jump in the second row and also the third row to show you how that works out um, a customer I sold the other day instead of them getting the Audi Q7 saved them about 45 grand and also the third row is actually functional instead of um, just for baby, baby kids, adults can jump in the back with no problem. That's something that's huge. All right, let's jump in the second row. All right, in the second row, you do have air controls right there for the kids in the back for hot and cold. Little cloth seats right here that do recline. And let me see. All right, I'm 6'2". I got, my goodness, tons of room in here. Let's slide it up a tiny bit more. I still have tons of room, but let's do this. Let me jump in the third row, uh, which is really nice. So if you lift this, besides the seat hopping out of the way, it slides forward. So that's where the problem is with all the other SUVs. There's no room for your kids to get back there. It's really tough and tight. Me, being 6'2", bam, easy peasy, but that's the thing. I'm 6'2", and I still have room in the back of this car. Um, the seats that I'm in right now also recline. All right, there's a better view of the seats. These also recline. And also, everything will drop down to give you tons and tons of cargo space, of course. Let's look and see how much room is in the back with all of the seats up. All right, first I could demonstrate if your kids are in the back and you're way up front and they're trying to get out, um, all they have to do is lift this leather right, lever right here. Look, it push itself forward by itself. It's way out of the way. So I have that much room to get out. And of course, I'm going to grab this handle. Voila! All right, let's check the back. Now, I do believe that the um, S and this launch edition are the only ones that do not have a power tailgate, but the rest of the models do. Um, this is how much room you're left with. 
when all the seats are up, but that is definitely enough room for a huge stroller in the back of the car. And of course, just by pulling on these right here, you can just throw it forward. Let's go down. Same with that one as well.